Hey guys, welcome back to Tasha's Cuisine, where you find all the best healthy, delicious, mouth-watering Caribbean food recipes on YouTube. Today, I'm going to share with you how to make this delicious durian dion dion. I know most of you have been waiting for this recipe, so let's get started. You're going to need everything that you see here in this video. Um, I am going to use the jasmine rice. You can also use madang gugus, and I have this extra small um, size of shrimp, uh, sweet peas. Uh, these are my preference, guys. You can um, use other type of green beans, but yeah. And I'm using the Sunny Bay Dion Dion. I'd recommend it. I love it. Okay, I'm not sure if this is uh, the first time you're watching uh, a recipe on how to make durian dion dion. I'm going to walk you through the process on how to make this step by step. So I would recommend that you take at least 15, if not 30 minutes, to take your time to clean this nice and well. This, These are not John John, okay guys? These are not John John. These are rocks. Who knows what they are? But anyways, um, take your time, clean it nice and well, all right? As you can see, you will know what's John John and what's not. All right, so this is what I did. I clean up my John John nice and well. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to boil it. All right, um, we're going to boil it for at least 15 minutes. So for my recipe, guys, I'm using three packs of um, John John, which is 150 grams. Um, yeah, so I let it boil in about um, eight to 10 cups of water. So now I'm using the strainer to uh, drain um, everything out. So the best um, way to get um all the ginger out this is my preference after i um drain um everything out so what i'm going to do because this is expensive i mean i'm going to make sure i drain all the goodness out of it so with my blender now i'm going to extract all the goodness out of the ginger so what i did i pour one hot cup of water um, boiling water um, and then i'm going to finish the process that way so now the next thing to do is use the strainer again to uh, take all the goodness out of it so now i have in total about eight cups of water dion dion water i know some people they use a um, maggi to give it more color but guys let me tell you the secret is if you really serious about making duya dion dion i mean this thing is supposed to be dark like this is what we call black rice or duya dion dion it has to be black i mean no faking it with some maggi i'm not using any maggi in this recipe all i have here is the dion dion three packs so now okay guys so the next step is i'm using my haitian traditional pot it's a large pot okay so i add the olive oil and i added about three tablespoons of my haitian a piece i will put the link in the uh, description box um so you can see how i prepare this it's um, pretty much a green seasoning with garlic scallions a parsley so now after i fry the haitian a piece i add the sweet peas and I'm going to give it a good stir. I would recommend that you make your own Haitian apis. I mean, this is the secret behind all Haitian recipes. I mean, this will make this rice super delicious. I give it a good stir. And um, for those of you who have been following my channel, you know I'm not going to add too much crazy stuff in my food. It's pretty much um, all organic stuff or no MSG. I'm using the adobo powder. I am using salt and then cloves. That's pretty much everything else that I have here in this rice. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the water. As you can see, this Dion Dion water is the best. I mean, it's dark. It's super dark. Like I said, the secret is um, having enough Dion Dion to make sure that this rice is dark. Um, I mean, this is the way you have to do it. Um, I'm going to let it boil for um, a good 10 to 15 minutes. Once the water is boiling, I am going to take the time to taste it. I always recommend you guys to um, taste the water. This is um, the best way to know that you're making something delicious. You have to taste. So I taste the water. It looks like it's good. I washed the rice and now I'm going to add the rice into the boiling water. Um, so the next thing too I'm going to do now is add the shrimp. The reason why I add the shrimp at the end is because um, the shrimp is 
already cooked. Um, I don't need to do a whole lot to it. So now I add the shrimp. Um, I'm using two bags of extra small shrimp. The reason why I use extra small shrimp is because I think it's so much better with that type of rice. Um, you don't want the shrimp to be too humongous. Um, yeah, so I use extra small um, size of shrimp. So I'm going to give it a good stir and um, pretty much what I have to do next is cover it up with the lid and then let this um, cook for an extra 15 to 20 minutes on low heat you guys always keep an eye on your food and then yeah pretty much all set for those of you who are new to this channel please take the time to subscribe invite your friends and your family to subscribe to Tasha's cuisine if you have any questions for me suggestions don't hesitate to place your comment in the comment box below i'll try my best to reach back to you guys um and for those of you for those of you who do not like to comment publicly you can always email me at taisha cuisine at gmail.com again it's taisha cuisine at gmail.com as you can see this duria dondio is the best i mean you make this and you bring it to a party everybody will love it i mean this was super delicious we love 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 this so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys for coming again and again on tasha's cuisine don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time thumbs up place a comment and i will see you soon with more videos bye now